Let's go turn in this trilobite. No reward. Too bad. He doesn't, he's not ready yet. He'll be ready tomorrow to give us our axe back. Ah, uh, we don't need to talk to Pam. <laughs> Hello, Sebastian. If strigalactone levels could have could be increased, would it have a proportional effect on my core microhyzal growth? Sorry, I was pondering some data and didn't notice you. <laughs> Have we given you flowers yet? Yeah, we already did. Okay. Ah! Hello, Jazz! We've already given her gifts. Sometimes I look for crawdads in the river. Don't tell Aunt Marnie, but I fed one to a cow once. <laughs> okay! The cow liked it. Hello, Robin. Hello, Vincent. Dad's coming back soon. Who brings you some toys? Would you like a flower? I already gave him gifts. Okay. I suppose there's nothing harmful about feeding to a cow like that. Here's some wormy ground. Just some play. Can we go in there? No. Hello, Maru. Interesting farm stories? Not really. Hello, Robin. It is. And unfortunately, we're not going to be able to give a gift to Sebastian because he's hiding in his room. Oh no, he's not there. He must be out somewhere. There's Abigail up there. We haven't talked to Linus in a while. I feel bad. Where are you at, man? You can't miss tomorrow's festival. It's one of the most beautiful wonders of the valley. I already gave him gifts. Okay. I'm happy with myself, you know. I don't need new friends. Well, that's a terrible attitude, man. Let's go look around the southern forest. We haven't been there, like, in a long time. We don't bother to go that way. Hello, Mayor. Actually, uh, wrong way. We want to go down to the southern exit. Right? Hello, Jody. No, I don't need anything from you. Hello, Leah. Uh, the flowing water keeps my house a little cooler. That's nice. You already given you gifts? Yeah, okay. I don't have the cave carrot for you. Oh, Shane. Don't be like that. He just really likes that Joja Cola. Can you do something? He's out cold. <laughs> we watered him. 
<clears throat> Shane, what's the matter with you? All you do is mope around in a room and drink beer. You wouldn't understand. Jazz, don't look at this. What's your plan? Don't you ever think about the future? Hopefully I won't be around long enough to need a plan. I feel sorry for this guy. Look what you did to your sister. Well, that's pleasant. Hi, Marnie. Your goats go wild over cave carrots, but we don't have one for you, I'm sorry. It's kind of bleak. I'm a, I'm a little, little down. Hello, wizard. Now ah, we're still at zero of him. We should talk to him more often, but he's kind of out of the way, you know? But yeah, I don't think we've walked around this area in like, I don't know, 15, 20 days? Okay. Do any of these hats actually do anything? I don't think so. So... Too bad. I'm happy with my straw hat. It's light and cool. And it's a light. Sweepy. Lots of sweepies. Multiple sweepies. I think, well, since we have time, since it's not too late and there's not much else we could do, let's start thinking about what we're going to do for an orchard. I think we're going to be down here, in the lower right. So, yeah. Battery pack! <laughs> it's fully charged with precious energy. Well, let's go ahead and ship it. Just so we can figure out what its price range is. Um, pickled tomatoes, bananas, all this stuff. Oyster. This is just a little sure. We, we have turned in uh, an oyster. Yeah. Okay. Okay, let's get some more plants doing. I like this idea because it, it'll kind of provide some... It'll, it'll kind of provide some passive income. Not really passive income. But it will stretch out the income. Instead of getting a huge burst of melons as I um, when they all pop, I can instead... Uh, get more over time. I get an annuity or something. Uh. Okay, we said we were going to start planning. So let's go ahead and plan for um, a bunch of maple seeds. What am I looking for? I want a bunch of maple seeds. I'm looking for yeah, there. Let's say a row of twenty. Let's take a few more. 
we don't know how much it's gonna how, how long it's gonna take uh, and oaks and pines um, we'll figure out later um, how much we actually need so right here we're gonna clear all the grass And unfortunately, our thing is full, so we're not getting any hay from this, which is a shame. Didn't plan this out very well. Our silos are full, I'm saying. Is that going to storm tomorrow? I think, I'm, I think it is going to storm tomorrow, so we need to go and get our uh, chickens safe. Okay, I don't know if that counts as a free spot. I know they need, they need free spots all around. So, you need to plant them like this. Five, six, seven. And we'll do it over here on the this side too. Four, five, six, seven. Let's make it even. Eight. Um. Now some pines. Okay. Um, we can go ahead and extend these south a little bit more. I don't know if that one will actually grow. I can't tell what's here. That's it. Okay. We'll leave this alone. We'll have to check on every single day to make sure that things aren't growing up around it. Um, what are we doing? We're putting these away. Uh, let's check the weather real quick and then go do chickens. I think it says it's going to storm tomorrow. No, it's going to be clear because it's a festival. Okay, so we can leave leave it open. Uh, do we look in here? I think we did. Yeah, okay. I think that's the pattern you can use because they need, they need to have open space all around them. But the open space can overlap with other open spaces. That's not true with the other trees. Okay. Wow, the battery is sold for 500. Cool. Here we are on the last day of summer with 30,000 in the bank. They're in sunny tomorrow. Bread. Bread making can be a very complex form of art, but I'll make it simple for you. The most important ingredient is flour. Before we can create the dough, we'll need to activate our yeast. They prefer warm water and little something to feed on. I use plain sugar, but honey or maple syrup will do. Probably useful. Spirits are annoyed. That's a shame. Yay! I made you a little treat this morning in the saloon. Dig in. Thanks, Gus. Gave me an omelet. Dear Yay, tonight at around 10 o'clock p.m., a rare and beautiful event will take place. The Moonlight Jellies will be passing by Pelican Town on their long journey south for the winter. We're all gathering at the beach to watch. You don't want to miss this. See you tonight. Thanks, Demetrius. We'll deal with that in a moment. Okay, we never did get a coffee yield. That's a shame. We did get one more set of tomatoes and hot peppers. Okay, let's double check to see if anything's growing. 
Okay. Let's, let's make some, a little more space here. We don't want it to get overdone. Oh, I, I goofed. I goofed. Okay. Um, let's go fix that. We can fix that. That was uh, that, that was a um, uh, an acorn. <laughs> there we go. And you know, I should just go ahead and put a wall there or something. How much does a wall cost? Uh, I it needs uh, a wood fence. Only needs wood. Okay, let's go ahead. You get some wood. And put some fencing down. I got an achievement. Do it yourself. Do it yourself. Craft 15 different items. Well, I could have got that a while ago. Okay. Let's not do that again. So, there. Uh, we should build a gate down here at the bottom so we could leave here and... How does that work? Um, it's okay. Uh, let's just build some more. Ah, okay. Oh, that's an actual tree I cut down. <laughs> I didn't realize that. I thought that was up on the ridge. Okay. We'll deal with that another time. And we have one extra bonus fence. We'll go ahead and put it there. Sure. Okay, chickens. Hello, Butchie. Nothing in the cave. Snoo. Where are the other ones? Are they inside, maybe? No? They're out somewhere. Just don't know where. There's one. Hello. There should be one more somewhere. I should probably. Oh, is that the last one? No, we already talked to you. We already talked to you, I'm pretty sure. It must have wandered awfully far off. <laughs> Where is my chicken? Is that new? Yep. Fula. Maybe I should build a cage for them to keep them mostly contained. We can sell stuff. We'll sell the omelette just because we want to be able to sell a bit of everything. We always sell um, silver stuff. I don't know if we've sold maple syrup. Let's sell one of them. And then we'll put the eggs in here. Um... We already have a bunch of tomatoes, so we can just sell those. It's a new season, so we should a new week, so we should go ahead and uh, 
we should go ahead and try to um, take take gifts around so we can give them to people. <sighs> and let's go get our um, let's go get our axe. Do you want to turn in another instrument at the same time? We uh, not instrument another tool. We could turn in the hoe. No, we need that. We'll need the hoe tomorrow. We missed our chance to, to make the hoe. Okay. Um, we can bring geodes to him now. We need one frozen geode for the hut up, or the, not the hut, the um, community center. But we can bring the omni geode. Sure. Any geodes here? No. Nope. Looks good. Ah, there's some more geodes. And here's a bunch of gifts. I'm trying to grab the low number ones. So that they can... Um, we can keep a stack of five of these for a long time. But if it's just one or two, I'd rather find a way to avoid holding it forever. Uh, do we have enough gold ore? Where's all our gold ore? Only four. Okay. Do we have any... Uh, yeah, she wants cave carrots. We don't have cave carrots. Okay, let's go out. No point in... Oh, wait, no. We should definitely... We have to keep on uh, watering the corn, because the corn will maintain through seasons. Wait, 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 wait. Something just popped. Strawberry wine. Okay. Let's go ahead and get the ancient fruit, and we're going to turn that into wine, too. Ancient wine. Uh, we're going to... We need wine for an uh, item, so let's go ahead and just store it somewhere. I should probably make more of those little containers. Okay, let's, let's pull one of these out so we can start giving them away. I should have put those in the bin. Hello, everybody. Everybody, come here. I have gifts for everybody. Take your gift. Oops. Nice gift. You're welcome. Yeah, you don't have enough patience. There's not enough sick people here. You want people to be sick so you can treat them and make money, you monster. It's good to take a break from work. Oh, he's at level 6. Nice. At least in the winter you don't have to worry about crops. There is that. There wasn't any berry crops in the summer, like uh, there was in the spring. That's unfortunate. No spring onions either. Oh, oh, there's Penny. Penny. Ah, I brought her up to five. Good. Hello. Do I like to decorate? To an extent. It must be nice having your own place to decorate. I can tell you're having troubles with your mom. I'm sorry about that. Hello. Hello, Pam. Have a flower. Are you friends with Gus? He's a pretty good guy. I'm not really. For some reason, when I'm going around to talk to people, I never end up talking to Gus. So, oh well. Hello, Clint. Okay, I'm going to try something special. I'm going to give... Clint a geode like in the, uh, with, as a gift and see if he likes it. No, he doesn't like it. Clint never likes anything. <laughs> Steel axe. Okay, go ahead and process these geodes. 
That's new. Nicolite. Um, a Dwarvish Helm we already have. Another Nicolite. No, that's a Thunder Egg. Okay. We already turned that in, then. Clay. That's another Nekoite. And the frozen one? is just rocks. Wow. That's underwhelming. Hello, Haley. You are welcome. Emily usually cooks dinner, but she makes weird stuff like quinoa. Hello, Alex. You got these new shoes, because your old pair had a brown smudge and you just threw them away. Yeah, you told us about this before. We have something we can give, right? The Nekoite. No reward. Unfortunate. Ah, uh, the mayor's not home. Oh, it's the fest I can't go in there because the festival's being set up. I forgot about it. I, w I completely forgot about the festival. Are you here, Emily? Or are you already at work? You're here. Hello. It's around this time of year that my good friends visit the region. The parents. Uh, we have a good flower for you. I'm sure. Thank you. You're welcome. You are very welcome, Emily. What about the kids? Uh, this is Vincent's house. He wants a grape, and I didn't bring grape. Oh well. He's not even here. <laughs> Hello, Evelyn. Sweet peas, yes. Let's give her a sweet pea. Maybe she likes them. Looks wonderful. Very kind of you. No quest today. Hello, Jody. What in the world am I going to make for dinner? She's unhappy because she can't make dinner. It's so hot in here, man. I, I, I'm hearing you. Okay, let's go finish up clearing our um, our little house, our, our area, our home, with our new... Let's see how, how well this cuts. So, I'm at 241. To 229. So, it's only 12 from 30. That's okay. Actually, no. Now that we have this... Okay. We can get rid of those stumps in our yard. Not stumps. The uh, the knocked over trees. So we should go and do that for our, the, the typical areas. Not, the, not just run around here. No, we're not eating the egg. There you go. Tomatoes. We can sell them. Spice fruit, sure. Uh, what am I looking at? Uh, the Dwarvish Helm. That's what I wanted to sell on the Nekoite. Uh, I wanted to make more kegs and things. What do those need? Uh, kegs need... Okay, kegs are the, are the ones that need the iron bars. So we're not going to make too many of those. But the preserves only need coal. Coal, wood, and stone. Let's make a few more of them.
and stone. We actually don't have that many stones. Uh, what am I looking for? I want I to craft them, things. I meant to grab three. Okay. We already did chickens today, I think. We don't have that much time today. Because we need to go to the fair. But yeah, we can knock those down now. And there was one of these outside in the forest of the south. Let's go get that. Lots of hardwood. Yeah, we let this place get so overgrown. We were so good in spring. Like, this entire... Oh! The entire area had, uh... Let's see. Oh! A cave carrot! Uh, I don't want to spend that much on it, though. Uh... Pufferfish I might want to get. Uh, I don't want to. Rare seed. So in fall, it takes all season to grow? Let's grab it! Why not? It's about to be fall tomorrow. Maybe we should grab multiple? Let's grab three of them. There. Yep. Because I think there's an area here, right? On the map. It has a question mark there. Yeah. Oh, there's slimes. There's slimes. Um, uh, I didn't bring my sword with me. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay, uh, well, we'll, be, we'll remember to, what to do next time. We'll bring... Yeah, okay. I guess we should just... Get ready to... Oh, wait, we can spend some more energy here. Sure. But we should start heading over to the beach. That's a lot of hardwood. Okay, let's go. with this. Ah. Okay. Dance the Moonlight Jelly has begun. We need to hurry. I don't think this is one of those things where you need a partner, though, so... Though I, 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 why are you still around here? Do you, yes, I do. I absolutely get an urge to go exploring. Pretend you just want a free vacation. Where would I go? Uh, <laughs> the Mega Mall. No, I would go to a forest. That sounds wonderful. But yeah, you should be. Um, well, let's give her a flower. But she should be going to the the place. She always eats my flowers.
Um, okay, good. Make sure to swing by the shop tomorrow to get your fall seeds. Yes, I will do so. These candles are romantic, aren't they? To an extent. I remember seeing the jellies once as a little girl. Oh, how I jumped with joy when they arrived. What? Why are you looking at me like that? You think I'm too old to enjoy something like this? But that was long ago. She's less energetic now. Okay. Summer is over. To be honest, I'll be happy to say goodbye to the blasted mosquitoes. I'm here. I hear that. Stupid mosquitoes. Drinking off you. Giving you the curse. I'll just sneak up when the jellies arrive. I don't want to bother anyone. Come on, Linus. Step forward. No one minds. Hello, wizard. How are the mer merfolk doing? You were not well hidden. Perhaps you are blessed with the gift of clairvoyance. In a way, yes. You're here to observe the Lunaloos, or Moonlight Jellies, as you call them. They possess an unusually potent magical aura for an aquatic life form. I do have clairvoyance. I can see what's, uh, what's completely out of my sight. If as long as it's within a certain radius around me. It's kind of cold, actually. I guess fall was right around the corner. It's past your bedtime. How... Hey, did you see that candle boat? I crafted it myself. The Moonlight Jelly, what a remarkable species. We're very lucky that they stopped here on their long journey south. It's unknown why they're attracted to light. Very curious. Probably it's a way for them to talk to each other. If they glow, then by, uh, they look to light as a way of, um, of identifying themselves. I'm paying my respects to another bygone summer. Um, uh, anybody up here? Yep. Hello. Don't tell Gus, but I'm a little disappointed there's no buffet tonight. Ah, well. Moonlight jellies. I wonder how they taste. I would never try it, of course. Hello, Penny. Life is so easy for a jellyfish. Just letting the waves carry you onward forever. That's very poetic. You want to see the rare green jelly? Okay. Hello, Sebastian. I thought I saw something moving in there. Something big. Something dark. Just trying to scare you. <laughs> Such a rare and exciting thing. I wonder if they're poisonous? Maybe I shouldn't push Sebastian in the water after all. I should have brought my camera. You always forget. I can't believe summer's over. I feel like it just started. That's a heavy load of people for an ancient wooden dock. I'm staying over near the beach. That's fair. Shane, how are you feeling? The jellies were here a year ago, and they'll be back again a year from now. Nature is amazing. Good, he's in a good mood. I hope there are babies this year. Baby jellyfish? Most nightfish would be scared of the light. These are strange ones. There, I saw something glowing. Oh, it's gone. Hello, Emily. Look out there at the end of the sea. Deep underwater, all kinds of life forms are moving around in the dark. Eerie, isn't it? I wore my special shoes tonight. No one noticed. I didn't notice either. If you keep polluting the ocean, the jellies will surely go extinct. It's already in the process of happening. What a shame. We have no respect for nature anymore. It's not really about the pollution... Fish are going extinct because of overfishing. And people don't eat jellies very much. Good evening, yay. The moonlight jellies are close, but that okay. We fish the things the jellies eat, maybe? The moonlight jellies are close. I already saw one glowing in the distance. Once we launch the candle boat, they'll come up to the docks and say hello. That's the one that uh what's her name did? Should I launch the boat? Go for it. We've talked to everybody.
I see one. There it is. <laughs> It's an awful lot of them. That's the weird looking one. There's the green one that he was looking for. The glow of summer has faded now, and the moonlight jellies carry on toward the great unknown. Yep, midnight already. We should go right to bed. Let's just drop some stuff, because we'll need to be ready for tomorrow. Oh, uh, we don't need these, or those, or those. Any of this stuff. We'll need a lot of sap, so let's, let's keep the sap with us. Okay. We'll put the rare seeds away because we don't know where to put them yet. And we should get some flowers out. Just a couple stacks. Okay. New recipe warp totem farm. Wild berry harvesting. Plus one wild berry harvesting. Okay, that's good. Uh, there weren't any wild berries in summer, so maybe they'll be in fall? <laughs> okay, day one of fall. I think this is a good opportunity for me to take a break. So thank you everybody for watching. This is Stardew Valley.